talking about is really self-determination for Oregonians. We connect to the federal tax code uh, uh, when it comes to the definition of income for simplicity, for administrative simplicity. Uh, the CPAs love it, their clients love it, because it makes tax filing a lot simpler if you have the same ground rules in some basic areas for the federal and the state. Now, in the past, we have had the status quo be that we are not connected to the federal, uh, uh, f to the federal code. And so our revenue committees and our legislatures, every session, made the conscious decision, what do we want to connect to and what do we not want to connect to? And that was affirmative uh, decision. That was in the 80s and 90s, generally. For about the last 10 years, we've had what we call a rolling, uh, a rolling reconnect, where the status quo is a connection unless we decide to do otherwise. And that is what we're deciding today, whether to disconnect from this narrow um, category that, by the way, went into the federal code at the last minute in the conference committee. We would not even be here today if the federal government had decided to do what we did in Oregon and just lower rates. The federal government instead structured their tax relief for pass-throughs as a deduction. Therefore, it falls into the definition of income. We're, uh, in other areas, we're connected to the code where we have different rates. So we are here because of an administrative technicality. And it's, it's very um, frustrating for me because I was on the negotiating team and uh, for the grand bargain tax relief that we gave to some of this same population. And during that discussion, we, we put, we, we had enormous, complicated discussions over who do we want to benefit, what do we expect to gain from this tax relief that we're giving the pass-throughs, and who do we want to cover, who do we want not to cover, do we want to give preferential treatment to people who were creating jobs, yes. Do we want to give preferential treatment to people who are simply uh, investing and not providing jobs and are in the highest income? No. Now, we were not perfect. This, this agreement that we reached still needs work, and we know that. It's also worth noting that that agreement is not in this bill. Nothing would change from the decision that we made as Oregonians, for better or for worse, none of that is in this bill. What is in this bill is decisions that were made at the federal level without regard to any of the values we have in Oregon. We have had no input to this. We have had no uh, decision on who we want to benefit, who we want to exclude. It's across the board. It includes a far wider category than the category we did in the grand bargain. And it provides, as, as a good senator from Beaverton said, it provides most of its benefit to the people who arguably need it the least. So I wanted to give that perspective um, for the population that it does, that we already cover, uh, for pass-throughs that now have an effective rate of 7%, that rate, that effective rate would go down to 5.6%. For those who have an effective rate of 7.6%, it would go down to 6.1% without any discussion on whether this reduction in their effective tax rate will provide any benefit for Oregonians. Uh, this is a very important bill, and it really is about self-determination for those of us in Oregon to make our own decisions. Thank you. Uh, Senator Brian Bo 